I've been wearing barefoot shoes for well over three years, however a couple of months ago I started to experience some pain in my feet. Now I think this was due to the shoe's minimal tread, so I decided to try a more cushioned shoe and spoiler alert, it didn't go too well. So after months of looking online I think I may have finally found the solution to all our problems. Look what just arrived. Now a few of you commented on my last video telling me to check out Ultra Shoes so I decided to check out Ultra Shoes. Now this is the Ultra Lone Peak 7 and this is actually a trail running shoe, however the woman in the shop did say that people do use this as an everyday shoe and the extra tread on the bottom should help prevent my foot pain that I've been experiencing. Aesthetically I don't think the shoe is too bad, it's water resistant which is going to be good for the winter, it's also zero drop and has a wide toe box, not quite sure what, what that is for, maybe we'll find out later. I will talk about Ultra Shoes in more detail later in the video, however for now it's the usual protocol of trying out the shoes for the next 30 days and then I'll report back to you with my findings. So I guess that leaves us with only one thing left to do. Put on the shoes, head out the door, make an overly elaborate unnecessary montage of me wearing the shoes. So I headed out the door full of gusto and excitement, dreaming of walking and skipping pain free. Everything seemed to be going so well, however there was one major problem that the astute of you may have already noticed. So it's been about two weeks since I got the shoes and this time in the last video we'd already thrown in the towel so, so far we're winning. However the slight problem some of you may have noticed from the montage is I bought the wrong size shoe. They didn't have my size in store but the lady suggested I try half a size up and they felt good but the moment I got them at home and tried them on they felt like canoes. So I went back and switched them for my size in a different colour. So now I've got the green ones and I think I actually prefer them. One of my favourite features about the shoes are the pull tags here. So you don't have to undo your laces, you can just slip them on. And for those of you wondering what size you need to get your Ultra Lone Peak 7s in, it's your, your regular shoe size. So far the shoes are going really well, I haven't experienced any knee or foot pain wearing the shoes and they're really comfy. So I think before we get to the final review, we should talk a little bit more about what are Ultra Shoes? Ultra is a company started by two friends who were into running and looking for innovative ways to improve their footwear. The innovative design started with widening the laces around the toe box to give the foot more room to breathe, as well as heating the shoe in the oven and cutting off the heel, essentially making a makeshift zero drop shoe. The shoes quickly gained popularity in their community and Ultra Shoes were born. They now offer a wide range of running shoes that are zero drop and have a wide toe box. So they're basically a barefoot-esque style of shoe, have they have extra cushion and extra tread. For example, if you compare my Ultra Lone Peak 7, which has a stack height of 25mm, to my Behe shoes, which has a stack height of 10mm, so that is almost two and a half times the extra protection underneath your foot, and I think that is the main reason why I haven't experienced any foot pain. Also, because of the zero drop, they keep your body in alignment. If you compare me side by side with my Nikes on, you can see that the Nikes push my body out of its natural alignment. And I think this is the main reason why I was getting knee pain wearing the Nikes and I no longer get the knee pain wearing the Ultra shoes. Right, I think we're finally ready for the final review. Now quickly to reiterate, the reason why I wanted to stop wearing barefoot shoes is the past couple of months they've been giving me a lot of foot pain when I'm walking. Now some people in the comments have said that you need to become more adapted to wear barefoot shoes but I remind them I've been wearing barefoot shoes for over three years now and also other people are saying that I'm walking incorrectly. However, for two and a half years I didn't feel any pain in barefoot shoes. It was after about six months of living in the city and walking on concrete all day that the foot pain started to occur. Now on to the ultra shoes. They did feel a little bit tight the first one or two days of wearing them. However, I believe this is probably more due to my extra wide hobbit feet from being barefoot for so long and after a few days they broke in and they now feel like slippers. So I think my main problem wearing barefoot shoes and living in a city is that the sole wears down too quickly under the ball of the feet specifically and that's where the pain in my foot is. My ultra shoes are kind comfortable but I did put my barefoot shoes on when I was at the gym the other day and barefoot shoes are more comfortable to me and because of the extra tread as well you also lose the connection with the ground so the first couple of days it does feel a little bit awkward walking around in the shoes however the fact that I haven't felt any pain in any part of my body over the past 30 days pretty much means that I'm converted to wearing these now. How will switching from barefoot shoes affect me in the future? I have no idea I guess we'll just have to wait and see.